guys, so back with another video. This time I actually ended up leaving my spear gun at home on purpose. I had enough fish from my last video with those two permit that I really didn't need any more fish. So I just wanted to take this opportunity to uh, videotape my good buddy Michael uh, doing some shore diving. So get out to the spot and it's kind of hazy in the water a little bit. The sun is starting to go down, it's a bit overcast. Uh, but it was still a really good day for hunting. There was a lot of fish life out, a lot of activity. You can see all the yellow jacks swimming around. And, uh, Michael starts his first drop. And one of the things I want to point out is that when you're doing any kind of diving, you really want to get low to the bottom. So you want to get down and anchor yourself. Here, Michael has found a uh, mutton snapper it's kind of curious, just kind of lingering, and so you can see he gets down real close to the bottom, he starts throwing some sand, and the mutton snapper is just kind of swimming around. He's a little bit off in the distance right now, but really Michael's not trying to be a threat, but trying to pique his curiosity to get him in close. And sure enough, he comes within range, gets a decent shot on him. Fish shoots under that rock, so pretty easy retrieval. Fish. It ended up being 19 and a half inches, so a nice size mutton for a short dive. Really happy about it. This next dive is a quick one. There were yellow jack everywhere. It's just a matter of finding a decent sized one. You know, some people might hate on these fish and something so small, but this is a super sustainable fishery. You know, we see hundreds, of, hundreds of these guys uh, on every dive, and they're really good for sashimi, sushi. You, know, you can blacken it, fry it, chop it up, do it in a stir fry, whatever you want to do. Um, you know, this fish is just perfect. This was a little schoolmaster snapper. Kind of hard to see in the video, but he was uh, playing cat and mouse with Michael. Michael lined up on him, and uh, as soon as he popped out of the hole, he got a shot on him. So he actually shot into the hole. Going up to it right now. Schoolmasters don't get too big, so that was a decent sized schoolmaster. Those are, th this size is like perfect for just frying it whole, even the whole fish, you don't fillet it, you just scale it, fry it, it's really good. And then this next shot, I kind of missed Michael uh, lining up, but it's, uh, it's called a Toro, so not to be confused with squirrel fish, they're really good to eat as well. Again, this is another fish that you're not going to fillet, you're just going to scale it and then fry it whole. And that was it for that day's adventure short clip of us swimming back. If you guys enjoy this content, please like and if you want to see more, subscribe and uh, drop a comment and let me know uh, what you think of the videos. Appreciate you guys.